okay. Okay. I'm cool. Like, yes. no, I mean, sorry. I'm, <laughs> sorry. Ah! Like, What do you know about? Absolutely nothing, but I hear whiskey and I'm happy. Uh, I have actually not had a huge amount. I think I've only had one or two of them. Listen, I'm no Darren Akira, do you know what I mean? Like I, I just like the, mm, yes, tastes like whiskey. Lovely. Mm. I believe these bottles are in indestructible, that you can throw them from like a three stories up and nothing will happen. That sounds like something we will be testing out, absolutely. <laughs> so watch out, Colin. I know, I, I love the these glasses. And I can be like, sophisticated, give it to me. Such a lady. You got the fancy glasses out for this. Only the finest for us tryers. Yes, that's absolutely the motto so far. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. It's a nice bottle, I have to say. It looks like an aftershave bottle. Yeah, like, like it looks like I should be like. I mean, you could do that. I could do it. I probably shouldn't. <laughs> I've got plans after this. Yeah, apparently, this is the bottle that's indestructible. Really? Yeah. No? no? Colin's saying no. Mm -hmm. And I respect Colin's wishes. Oh, I love the, um... Nope, stop. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. It's so smooth. I think it's kind of cheap tasting. It's kind of cheap tasting. Yeah. You're saying this about the Canadian royal family. I'm Their son, Prince Trudeau. It looks... <laughs> oh, she's smooth, though. That's very smooth. I did take a larger gulp than I should have, though. And I just oh. heard, like, the whiskey, like, fanatic screaming, like, what are you doing? <laughs> you'd be this far down and then you'd realize, oh, I've made a terrible you mistake. Could, you could easily fill this entire glass with that and drink it without experiencing any pain. In pill. Until. <laughs> Things become very painful it hits you. very quickly. <laughs> it's also got a very medicinal aftertaste, I think, kind of mintish. Where's Darren when you need him? He's the guy with all the words. The comparison to this is, like, a jemmy, it's a powers, it's a, you know, but an entry level whiskey. He just makes it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's all—it's because of the confidence. He'll just say something. You just think he's telling yeah. the truth. He's like, it tastes like mahogany and slippers, and you're like, what are yes. you talking about? Just really nice. I don't think it's as flavorful as anything that I have had before. Like yeah. I've definitely had like some Irish whiskeys that I, I think are quite flavorful, but this seems like the standard entry level whiskey. I kind of I don't know. Is that cheap whiskey? The one that kind of bites you? I just like. It. Something that kind of bites you. Just bites you. Just I get somebody some... to bite you. Do you want me to like take a chunk out of you right now? Ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is what happens when you take the screen down. Yeah. People start biting each other. Yeah. Do you know what I always kind of? It's like a quiz. <laughs> <laughs> bam, bam. <laughs> uh, I, whenever I've seen these bottles, for some reason, I always think it's gonna be like apple juice. Yeah. It gives yeah. a very apple juice look. Are we toasting to anybody? No. To ourselves. Yeah. Our own royal selves. Cheers, Lancha. In you. Oh my god, that's brilliant! <laughs> apple. Ah. Apple schnapple. Yes. Oh, it's apple! What You're... did I say? There we go. Apple. Oh, an apple one. I'm very oh. excited. This is Crown Royal Regal Apple, apple flavored whiskey. How do you feel about uh, flavored whiskeys? Honey, apple, Batch. cinnamon. Yeah. Bad. I don't like it. I get it as a concept, mm -hmm. but I just like the taste of good straight whiskey. Yeah. So a little nagging. Shot of this a day. Keep the doctor away. Nice. Brings the Undertaker closer though. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. We just don't come in. It was meant to be. <laughs> well, this is garnish. Wagon. Yeah. I'll just throw it in. No. I like the small little cute bottle. Yeah. And it's a strong apple this aroma. Little, like I can smell little... that from here. <laughs> I already made that joke! <laughs> yeah, you but you, you said it was cologne and I said it was perfume, so actually it's totally original. <laughs> it looks like apple juice though, you are right. It's the classic Dean Martin thing of pretending to be drunk but drinking apple juice. I'm making all sorts of noises over here. It's like sitting next to a pair of bagpipes. <laughs> I remember having the apple Jack Daniels, and I do not like Jack Daniels, so I'm like, <laughs> like amazing cuts. So hard cold. <laughs> Just <laughs> nasty. <laughs> so this is very exciting for me. I'm like, oh my god, a whiskey that's actually nice. Yeah, this, apple. I mean, to be fair, it smells freaking amazing. Slancha. Slancha. Oh, oh, my life has changed. My life has been changed. I don't want to drink anything else. 
Oh, if, unless there's some, some, some sort of fireball version of this, then I will take that. But I, I love this. There's absolutely no whiskey-ishness to that. This literally tastes like apple juice. Fuck yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice. You could give that to someone who doesn't like whiskey and they'd be like, oh, this is nice. That is delicious. It's very nice. I don't know, like, I, I think this would be better in a drink, like in a cocktail. Oh, really? Okay. Rather than by itself. It's very personal. I, it's, it's apples and oranges. Yeah. There we go. It saves you the time if you're somebody who mixes your apple juice with whiskey. Yeah. This does it for you. It's a two in one. Save time. Yeah. Like by itself, I'm like, it's like a tiny little mini cocktail, but it makes it, me want to like mm. add like, I don't know, soda water or something to it. Or yeah. ginger ale. <gasps> ginger ale. <laughs> Consumption of alcohol may cause health problems. <laughs> what? What? How could you not tell this to us? Ooh. It's not a fruit. I know what it is. It's a lip. What is it? It's vanilla. Oh, fuck's <laughs> Oh, just say it on the back. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, no guessing, no guessing. Ah. Vanilla. Oh, vanilla. It's actually not as strong in the vanilla smell as I would have thought. Like the other one, you could smell the apple when the glass was there. Like good and vanilla all the way is back. so nice though. Like, yeah. like really expensive vanilla ice cream that has actual vanilla pods in it is divine. To create this extraordinary blend, Crown Royal whiskies are carefully selected by a master blender infused with the rich flavor of Madagascar bourbon vanilla. You. The result is a uniquely sophisticated whiskey, bursting with the bold flavor of vanilla and the distinctive smoothness of Crown Royal. Do you do audiobooks? Because I would buy one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so impressed. Thank you very much. So when you did it, I'm like, oh my gosh, you're going off. Cool, girl. The best part of growing up was when you realized that chocolate ice cream is actually the worst and vanilla is where it's at. Yeah. There's like that moment when you're like 13 or 14 and you're like, wait a minute. Hang on a second. Have I been deceived? <laughs> it does look very royal. Like the bottle is very nice. It looks like something, yeah. looks like a, a, a nice aftershave that you could just dab behind your ears. Not as sweet or sickly or cloying as I thought it would be. Really? I think yeah. it's way too sweet. That is. What the fuck like? It's very nice. It's, that's just vanilla. It's got a kind of Coke edge to it. Uh, sorry? <laughs> what? A Coke edge? Uh, just a little bit of a Coca-Cola, like like a vanilla drink. Okay, I That's see. That's what Coca-Cola is, right? Yeah, it's like I, I caramel feel vanilla. You... It, it doesn't matter. It's fine. The I'm vanilla Coke. Okay the, the vanilla Coke. <laughs> I don't go wrong. It's very sweet, but I thought it was going to be like just like syrup and sugar. It's very strong vanilla flavors. Yeah. It's like someone said to him, "Could you get rid of the whiskey flavor? Yeah, and just do vanilla." That's also a shot drink. It feels like. like yeah, I like it. It's very sweet. I don't mm. think it's as sweet as the apple one. It has yeah. a bit more of a kick than the apple one, but I don't know if I like it over the apple. I feel like I prefer the apple. So the first one was like the main attraction and this is a supporting player. This is there to go with other things. On the bench. Yeah, I don't have any inherent issues with flavored whiskey liqueurs or anything like that. I think actually there's some really, really nice ones out there and for what they are and what they want to be, they're pretty good. I'd say that's pretty good for what it is. Yeah, for what it is, I have no complaints. Yes, yeah. it's nice. It's all, it's, I kind of prefer the last one. I think the apple was like the perfect balance of the two flavors. Yes. This one, it's very overpowered. It's vanilla. very strong. It's nice, but I feel like I need to dilute this with Coke. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this would be so good with Coke. Like, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like when I was like watching TV as a kid, what I imagined whiskey would taste like. I was like, oh, that looks delicious. You know? <laughs> I bet well, it's, you it's, know? I mean, you're not wrong. Like this is definitely what you think it would taste like because you're expecting it to be sweeter when you're younger. And then exactly. when you taste actual whiskey, you're like, what the fuck is that? Yeah and then realize it's a card taste. <laughs> <laughs> is it as flavorful as the apple? No. I, I don't know, I feel like they both taste exactly like the thing that they need to taste like. Oh, that is the last one. So nice. What? Oh, I want oh, three. Oh, bro, Canadian whiskey, what did you go wrong? I cannot form an opinion from three glasses I of whiskey. I need at least one or <laughs> two more. One more shot, one more shot. I actually like the brand. I really liked it. Yeah, I liked it. I really liked the whiskey. That was really buttery and smooth and in no way spicy. It was just yeah. gentle. Like Canadian people, it was it was very polite whiskey. Yeah. It was just real mellow and smooth. The apple whiskey was very nice, mm -hmm. but perhaps the expectations were raised too much because the vanilla was nice, mm -hmm. but it was just a little, little bit overpowering. It was overpowered, yeah. I am curious about the, you cannot break the bottles piece of information. So after I'm this, pretty sure that's a thing. After this video, you won't get to see it, but we will be taking hammers and try to break them ourselves. <laughs> Thanks for watching and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> this whiskey may impact your death perception. <laughs> Ring the bell, see more of me hurting people. 